Hello mercenaries! You are enjoying the number one FPS game, Crossfire. It's a legendary mega hit game with 8 million concurrent users. I'm BJ Sumin, your host. I will share all CF stories with global fans. Although the heat from the Olympics has not faded away, CF will take over the attention with various esports activities. So first, let's share the most recent hot news of CF. Have you heard of the highest international CF tournament, the Crossfire Starts? Well, in soccer, there's World Cup, and in CF, there's CFS. Then, which country will host the grand finals of CFS 2016? As you might have guessed, right, it's China, where the popularity of CF never fades away. Starting from 2013, CFS is already celebrating its fifth tournament this year, and we've got some changes this time. First of all, we've got new logo. Let's take a look. It looks absolutely amazing, isn't it? The Fracta represents all CFS players and we are looking forward to seeing the next winners. This logo is not the only change. The total price money is $700,000, which is three times larger than the last year. But the tournament structure is the same as the last one. A total 12 teams will be divided into three groups and they'll go through double elimination matches. The National Finals is the National Qualifier for Grand Finals, which selects 12 teams from 11 different regions worldwide. It continues from July to October, with China kicking off the stage. In the first week of December, the best teams will advance to the Grand Finals, and you will see the new world champion. The China NF had been already held on August 6th and 7th, and two teams, AG and VG, qualified to the GF. Since the launch of CFS, Chinese teams have won all CFS GFs, becoming undeniable champion. Let's see whether China will defend their throne once again, or other teams will rise. This time, we need to talk about CFGI tournament. It was first time that Chinese publisher Tencent became the main host of international CF tournament. Eight teams participated from seven different regions, and total prize money was $200,000, which was comparable to CFS. Also, Europe's Penta Sports and Philippines' Pacific Mecta tried their best, but in the end, China achieved the glory. They took first and the second place in a row. Considering fierce battle of CFGI, we're expecting even tougher competition in CFS 2016. In cooperation with world's renowned organizer ESL, Philippines Invitational will be hosted on October 15th and 16th. Through Invitational Tournament, we hope to see a lot of CF Pro Team players in various regions like Europe and North America. What's more, don't forget about Brazil CFEL Season 2, which will continue until October. So mercenaries, let's keep up with busy leagues. Let's take a break and move on to beautiful nature, Crossfire's first and only road variety show. The Crossfire show in Jeju was filmed in Korea's number one paradise, Jeju Island. After watching it, I felt so jealous for not being able to join the scene. The freedom of nationalities and forget about the competition. You will see the adventures of the world top players building up the friendship with each other. So check out the first and the second episode in the CFS website. We have various events waiting for you. It is now time for CF game tips. You need to have a suitable weapon to play a quality game. But what if you are new to CF or you are wondering how to improve your shot? Are you using weapons you are used to playing? Or maybe you don't have enough knowledge about other weapons? If you master how to use the weapons, you will play even better and have more fun. So let's look at each weapon in details and master the usage. First. 
There are three types of weapons. Main weapon, sub weapon, and grenades. The main weapon consists of five different types. Rifle, sniper, machine gun, submachine gun, and shotgun. Today, we are going to study about these five main weapons. Rifle. The most balanced weapon with high accuracy and damage. Sniper. One shot, one kill is possible using your scope. Machine gun. Protecting your team with high ammo and continuous shooting. Submachine gun. Light weapon allowing fast movement and continuous shooting. Shotgun. Your best damage dealing weapon in close combat. If you look at the graph, the rifle is the most balanced weapon of them all. Every stats are very well balanced. So this means the rifle is capable of handling any kind of situations during combat. In professional matches, many fantastic plays were performed by players using the rifle. Due to balanced stats, most teams use four rifles and one sniper. This combination can handle any situation smoothly. Now let's see how we will improve your skill using the trademark rifles, AK and M4A1. AK is used by many users due to heavy damage, continuous shooting, and durability. On the other hand, the M4A1 is less destructive but has higher accuracy and balance. If you prefer higher damage, use the AK. If you want accurate shots and faster movement, your choice will be the M4A1. If you see the single shot, there's no difference. Now, check when you give 5 continuous shots. As you can see, AK gives a larger rebound than the M4. There's no difference in rebound until 3 continuous shots. You need to control your aim by slightly moving your mouse downwards when shooting more than 3 shots in a row. After mastering the basic shots, we must learn how to use the map environment. First, we will learn about the wall shot. Some objects can be penetrated by bullets. Shooting down the enemy across the object is the wall shot. Now, let's learn about drop shot. This is how to shoot the enemy when falling from high ground. Normally, without control, you will miss the target when falling down. But if you press the left control key without touching any other keys while falling, you will have a well-performed drop shot. Shall we summarize what you've learned today from this footage? If you practice the shots learned today, you will also become the master. There will be more tips waiting for you next time, so tune in! It's the time all CF users are waiting for, meet the stars. In today's episode, we are going to meet Andre Francisti, the player from North America's team Trees of Carbon, who is now preparing for this year's CFS. So let's take a look right away. My name is Andre Francisti, um, I'm currently on Team Carbon USA. Do you remember the first time you started playing Crossfire? Yeah, I was like, like I said, I was 15 years old and like, I just remember, like, because I played Counter-Strike 1.6 back, like, super far back. And then, like, I found this game, and I was like, oh, my God, it's so much more fun than, uh, than Counter-Strike. So I just started playing it and playing it, and, uh, yeah, I just stuck with it. How did your family react to your decision to become a professional crossfire player? <laughs> so, actually, at first, like, my, my first time I went to China, it was WCG 2012. So I was, like, 16 years old. 
and my dad, like, he knew I played the game, or, like, he didn't know about, like, the game I played, but he knew I was playing some kind of game, and then I told him one day, I was like, hey, like, this team invited me out to go play in a national tournament, and if we win, we go to China, and he was like, no, you're kidding me, like, no, it's not serious, you know, and, like, he just kept brushing it off, and I was like, finally time to go to, um, to New York, it was, it was the qualifier, and I played there, and I won, and then he was like, oh my god, like, what is this? And then, like, he just became really, like, my dad became, like, way more supportive of it. And, uh, he just, like, saw, like, it was, it was actually happening and it's actually something cool to enjoy. So, how are you different from the other players? What are your strengths? I think, uh, I'm different from the other players because I have no fear. And I'll just, I'll be the first guy in every single time and I'll try to out-aim everybody. It doesn't even matter if they're actually better than me. I will go and I'll take the aim battle. I have a lot of confidence in the game. So, how do you usually practice with your team? Oh man, well we don't we don't get paid at all to play like you know like China does. China gets paid you know from what I've heard good amount uh, good amounts of money. So unfortunately we don't get to practice that much and we go to like school and we have to work so we can actually support ourselves. So we practice for maybe like two hours a day, maybe like four days maximum. So it's like it's really hard to be good, but we try. Do you guys meet online? Yeah, we don't even have a team house or anything because we live in like all different states in the United States, so it's like we're everywhere. What do you do in your free time except playing Crossfire? Except playing Crossfire, I like to go to the gym. I, I think working out is really healthy for you. And, and it clears your mindset even when you are playing because sometimes you get in like a slump or something and like a negative attitude, but you go to the gym and like it can clear your head, you can play better. Uh, I play hockey, so you know, I mean, that's a sport. It's fun. I love playing hockey. I've been playing since I was like four years old. And uh, I play other video games too sometimes, like maybe Counter-Strike or like League of Legends, but not, you know, it's nothing serious. Where do you see yourself in one year? In one year? Hopefully in China playing Crossfire, you know, <laughs> professionally. Maybe with, you know, a Chinese team or, you know, maybe uh, if we're allowed to, in order, like my team can just come over and live here, in Ch or not here, but live in China and play so we can actually make some good money playing the game because it's basically like our life's work because we've been playing for so long, you know? Um, any words to your fans? Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting us. Uh, thank you for liking our page, Carbon Page. Uh, thank you for following us for all these years and we know we took a big break and we didn't do good at this last event, but hopefully we like get our stuff together and we do good for you guys at CFS because we just want to make you guys proud because you guys support us for so for so long you know you guys are awesome thank you so much this is all for today's CF on air hope you can understand more about CF we will leave you with CF highlights in CFGI semifinals China's even from AG showed a fantastic play against Pena Sports I'll be back next month with more exciting news I'm VJ Suman wanna play Thank you for watching. See you. Bye bye. Don't get it. He does pick up his third. And even in a very good Tom position Brent. here. See him. Steady. Oh. Steady. Moves up again. Getting that nerf shot. Getting that double kill. Triple kill with the multi kill. Great play what from an Even. Amazing play by Even. CF on air.